Cool. And welcome to another summary for our Metal in the Streets. A Blades in the Dark campaign. So we open up at the Hall Factory. The crew planning to sabotage through an unleashing and selling of ghosts. Only one problem. The Whisperer wasn't there. Sneaking into the roof, Dart overheard a conversation between Lady Roth and the factory boss. While the others snuck in through the loading bay, meeting Dren and eventually making it to the workshop. The situation. The group meeting there ran into Mr. Duke, a sparkwright of great power, who was assembling one of the halls coming off the line, convincing him that the whisper that he had requested was going to be late. They managed to convince him to go for an early lunch, twice after Dart ran into him a second time. That said and done, they went with their backup plan, some spirit bottles with some ghosts in them they managed to obtain. Installing one of the feral ghosts of the street into this hall was a interesting idea. Meanwhile, Dart, going through the factory, set up his own spirit bottle in case such situations that would break on the machinery. Before making it back to his allies, he ran into the boss. Fontaine drawing the boss's attention away. Dart took out a blackjack, only to realize the boss was a hall, and Fontaine gained a show of how strong Dart was as he still knocked out him out. With that, as chaos was beginning to ensue, Needle made his way to the factory. Only a couple hours late, but nothing out of the usual. Slipping in, convincing the hall guard Dren that he was just a worker, brought over for some extra support, he slipped in to the unrivaling chaos of a out-of-control battle hall, the boss unconscious, ghost being released, Inspector June, and the Whisperer who was hired to install the ghost, all arriving at the scene at once, and things escalated. Eventually, through some dark power, Needle took control of the Rogue Hall. F Flash took out the Inspector and the Whisperer. The Doc left a nice present and explosion in the workshop, and everyone got out to watch the fireworks go. With that, they took the hall into the base and sacrificed it to their dark patron. There, afterwards, they were called by Dren, who was having an arrangement with Lady Roth to meet them. She brought Belcora, the boss, and the priestess Tina, and arranged for the crew to get them a replacement battle hall, because they had plans. For this... They would abolish their current wanted record. The crew agreed, and the Daughters of the Blade are in their sights. So with that, I will bid you farewell, and catch you all at the table next time. Be safe, have a great week, and I'll catch you all later.